Greetings, myself Sharda Devre, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, Amravati. Welcome you to the lecture two, Important Medicinal Plants Mentioned in Ancient Text of Week One, Indian Traditional Medicine System. In India, more than 850 plant species are mentioned in various medicinal ancient texts like Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, and Homeopathy systems. And in that first one, we will learn that is a Vidania Somnifera, belonging to family Solanaceae. Commonly it is called as Ashwagandha and in English it is called as wild cherry. It is found throughout the drier and subtropical parts of India. In various systems like Ayurveda, Yunani and Siddha, what names are given to these plants are mentioned here. And for cultivation purpose also there are more than 10 to 12 developed varieties are available in India. Out of these Nagori, Javar, Poshita or are commonly used by the cultivars. This particular plant is having lot importance in all the ancient systems mentioned in the first lecture and it is found to be antioxidant, immunomodulator and energy giving. It also helps to improve the overall health and hence it is important from the therapeutic point of view. Its roots, leaves, fruits and seeds are used for the various health benefits but root is found to be most important plant part for therapeutic uses. It is very famous for its adaptogenic immunomodulator and antioxidant properties, but along with it is very famous for its anti-inflammatory and anti-arthritic properties due to the presence of the steroidal compounds which are called as vidanolides. It also contains the alkaloids and the vidanin alkaloid is found to be sedative and hypnotic and that's why this plant is found to be useful in a stress management also. Leaves are used for again anti-inflammatory and hepatoprotective antibacterial uh, uses and it's one of the important compound that is a vidanolide, vidanferrin A is found to be useful in treatment of the cancer and also found to be the hepatoprotective and antibacterial. As per uh, Indian pharmacopoeia 3 to 6 gram of the root powder is mentioned for its therapeutic benefits. Next traditionally important medicinal plant is Raulfia serpentina belonging to family Apocynaceae. Commonly it is called as Sarpaganda Raulfia root serpentina Indian snake root. It is called as snake root because the shape of the roots is wavy it looks like a snake and that's why it is called as a snake root. In folk communities, it is also called as Chota Chant. It is naturally found to be present in sub Himalayas tract, Western Ghats and Andamans. But due to its potential commercial value, it is cultivated in different parts of the India by, very, by different farmers. The roots are the very important part of these plants from the therapeutic benefits. And these roots contain the indole alkaloids that is the razorpine, ajmalicin, ajmalin, serpentine, yohimbin. Ajmalin name is given in the memory of Hakim Ajmal Khan by his PhD student. These compounds, especially razorpine and resinamine, are found to be antihypertensive. Ajmalicin, razorpine are found to be tranquilizers. Desperidin, which is found to be sedative and ajmalin as an anti-arrhythmic activity. So this particular root powder is useful in hypertension, in neuropsychiatry disorders, psychosis and even in a schizophrenia. This drug powder is contraindicated in depression, bleeding disorders, gastric and duodenal ulcers. Even it is contraindicated in pregnancy, being teratogenic and abortifacient potential. As per pharmacopoeia, 600 milligram root powder is mentioned as an average daily dose. Next important medicinal plant is Asparagus racemosus, belonging to family Asparagaceae. Commonly it is called as Shatavari, Shatamuli or Shatapadi, Shatavirya and various names are mentioned for in Ayurvedic, Yunani and Siddha system. It is naturally found to be in various tropical and subtropical parts of India including Andamans and even to the ascending to the Himalayas. The roots are important part of this plant which is 
having a number of therapeutic beneficials benefits as its name is that shatavari shat means 100 and avari is related to that 100 times power or immunity booster this particular roots are found these roots contain various steroidal saponins that is shatavarins 1 to 4 and these are found to be responsible for the various benefits especially the benefit in the sexual debility for spermatogenesis like ashwagandha shatavari is also found to improve the overall health of the human being next plant is cassia angustifolia belonging to family cecilpinaceae or leguminosae commonly it is called as senna it is also called as cassia senna which is its synonym in english it is called as indian senna tineveli senna or in ayurveda it is called as sona mukhi swarna patri in unani it is called as sennai and various names that are in ayurveda siddha unani medicine system are mentioned here this is native to the different parts of the world and it is cultivated uh, in a different parts of the india especially in the south part that's why it is called as tineveli senna it's therapeutically important part is leaves and these leaves contains the anthraquinone glycosides which are found to be responsible for its purgative laxative and febrifuge action which helps it to treat the biliousness distension of stomach omitting and hiccups it is contraindicated in inflammatory colon diseases this is the most simple form of uh, medicinal plant mentioned in different ancient text because just a leaves powder is found to be useful for its purgative laxative action and various types of the constipations can be treated with this leaves powder so commercially also this plant is very important and this plant is part of the various type of the churnas like that is the kayam churna next very important traditional medicinal plant is tinospora cordifolia belonging to family menispermaci this is commonly known as giloe guduchi amrita amritavalli amritala and why it is called as amrita because uh, it is having so many benefits to the human body that it can be like amrit or uh, one more story is that it can be uh, regrown from any of its parts and uh, it can be grown from the dyed stems or roots and leaves that's why it is called as amrita in uh, various systems unani siddha and ayurveda different names are mentioned here it is found in throughout uh, india and in different parts of the andamans also 3 to 6 gram of powder of a stem or 20 to 30 gram of uh, its decoction is uh, found to be useful for its various benefits uh, it's each and every part is useful fruits even the leaves even it is uh, considered as a Uh, wild vegetable or wild edible vegetable but uh, from the ancient text point of view stem is most important therapeutically and this stem contains the various alkaloids triterpenoids and bitter principles that are found to be responsible for its immunomodulatory immune boosting action along with that it is it is having a lot of benefits like it is hepatoprotective anti rheumatic anti inflammatory anti pyretic it is useful in treatment of skin diseases jaundice and various types of fevers also can be treated with this uh, plant that is a giloe or guduchi gulvel its starch that is uh, uh, giloe sattva or guduchi sattva is very popular in ayurveda siddha yunani system and it is also found to be immunomodulatory um, it is also found to be anti acid anti diarrheal and anti dysenteric juice of a stem is commonly prescribed by the uh, ayush physicians and this is also uh, very useful next traditionally important medicinal plant is adathoda vasika belonging to family acanthaceae commonly called is called as vasaka in english it is called as malabar nut 
in ayurveda it is called as or in marathi it is called as adusa where is names of ayurveda yunani siddha system and folk system are mentioned here it is found throughout the india and up to the altitude of 1300 meter its leaves and inflorescence are uh, important parts that are useful for its bronchodilatory and expectorant action that's why it is useful in uh, bronchial asthmatic and pulmonary diseases it is also found to be anti spasmodic its leaves are anti fungal in nature leaf juice and uh, leaf decoction or root powder are generally prescribed by the ayush physicians for its bronchodilator expectorant action and it is very useful very commonly prescribed even in market by the name of adulsa this is available as a otc product for the treatment of cough and cold next plant that is a bacopa monieri belonging to family scrofula rasi and it is commonly called as brahmi or thyme leaf gratiola it is also called as neer brahmi there is always confusion that jal brahmi and brahmi or neer brahmi actually this single plant is called as a brahmi or neer brahmi or jal brahmi it is always confused with the centella which we will study in a next uh, lecture so synonym is herpestis monieri or moniera cunifolia and it is found to be in different parts of the india especially in a damp marshy areas the chemical constituents of these aerial parts are uh, alkaloids as well as the steroidal saponins brahmin and hispertin alkaloids are highly toxic but its steroidal compounds that is a uh, bacosides are very useful and found to be adaptogenic sedative and this plant is as per the name that is a brahmi it is responsible uh, for the uh, good brain function so it is known as a nervine tonic it is useful in memory enhancement it is useful in various psychic disorders and it is also found to be useful in asthma and it is also found to be useful in diarrhea this particular plants 1 to 3 g powder as per pharmacopeia can be used daily for its benefits these are the different uh, marketed formulations of the studied uh, medicinal plants that are mentioned in uh, ancient text and hope you all have uh, found it to be informative and this lecture is found to be a part of a happy learning of our ancient system thank you